Guess what? It's Wednesday, and today is number 10, Effective Communication. You know, it's interesting, we discussed previously the importance of being a leader and having a vision. You know, communication, if you think about the other nine topics that we talked about, each one of them require effective communication. As leaders, the communication that we give is, is there's basically five different points. Effective communication has to be honest. It has to be specific. You have to listen. We'll talk about that in a minute. Empathetic. And also, you have to be competent. So we'll talk about honest. Today, look, anybody can find anything on the internet. They can find videos. They can web search things. They can do anything. People know when you're honest or not. They know when you're authentic and when you're genuine. And if you don't sound or project your your vision correctly, it's going to sound fake, right? Uh, specific. Specific is, is, is probably one of the most important ones. You know, there's, there'll be a series, you know, called, you know, The Power of Questions that, that we'll be doing. And when we talk about specific, we talk about being clear and making sure that your message is heard. That there isn't a lot of emotions. We have a lot of emotions as, as leaders, okay? But sometimes we need to just take a step back and say, okay, what is the specific message that I'm looking at getting across? Am I honest? And am I empathetic? And am I competent when I do it? Next, we're going to talk about listen. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Use them accordingly. Sometimes we out-talk. Sometimes we rapid fire. We do, we do a session in our boot camps called Answer, Ask, Acknowledge, Ask. It's an effective communication tool. It's what it is. A lot of times we'll ask questions and then instead of acknowledging or, or answering, we'll just ask another question, another question. It's like an AK-47. So we want you to speak your mind. However, we need to listen. Have 360 awareness. Be present in the moment when we are communicating effectively. And that way we can see what the results of the communication are. Next is empathetic. Okay? The interesting part about empathy is if you don't know how your audience is going to receive the message, sometimes we need to take a step back and say, okay, there's sympathetic, there's empathetic, there's specific. Okay, sometimes you're going to have to choose a direction. Sometimes it's going to be all three directions, start to finish. However, we also have to look, communication is not just about the words that are coming out of my mouth, okay? Because I'm going to say this, my wife tells me all the time, Bubba, it's not what you said, it's how you said it, okay? Effective communication. So if you know what the results that you're looking for are, and if you, especially if you know who you're talking to, then it's about the perception of the communication, not always the words that are coming out of your mouth. Competent. Know what you're talking about. Look, people know when you're faking it until you make it. At the end of the day, if you're not competent and the words out of your mouth are not specific and honest, then your effective communication has gone in the trash. You know, we, we always talk about um, communication is, is king. And the interesting part about communication is not always the words that we speak. It's, it's our facial gestures. Um, it's, it's our posture. It's our tone, our tonality, our pace, our pitch, our pause, everything that we do. Perfect example. If I was to sit here and do this video and I spoke like this for three and a half minutes, do you think that would be effective communication? No. Every one of you would click the unsubscribe button. Instead, you're clicking the forward button so your friends know about it, right? Gotcha. So, and the reason why we saved effective communication for, um, is for last, and not that it's the most important, but seriously, it ties in the other nine attributes that we talk about leadership qualities. Because out of each nine of them, and with this one as a tenth one, there you have to have all ten qualities. You can't pick and choose what you want to do. A leader is a leader and needs to stay a leader. Okay, so again, go back, listen to all 10 of them. You know, 
I'm, I'm, I, I'm sad that the series is over because I love this series. However, I'm happy so we can move on to, on to other subjects. Okay? Don't forget, be yourself. Be honest. Okay? You know, a, a lot of times people want to be somebody else. And instead, look, I'm just Bubba. Uh, nobody can be Bubba. And thank God that there's only one Bubba out there. I'll just tell you that right now. But you don't want to be somebody else. Be yourself. Be genuine. Be authentic. All right? And remember this. Each one of us are put in our own mold. So you build your future. You build your destiny. Work on your leadership qualities. Let's hire teams. Let's care about people. And let's always remember that clients are first. All right? You have an amazing day. God bless. And I look forward to talking to you next Wednesday. Bye.